around her map. Come on. Is it bad? Tell me in the comments. Is it bad? Um, try it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be testing some more TikTok makeup hacks because I have seen some pretty good ones recently that I think might actually be decent. Oh, and quickly before I forget, the winner of my previous video's giveaway, I have now contacted in the YouTube comments. I don't think I'm allowed to put it on the screen anymore because of like GDPR issues. But winner, you have been contacted. You know what? I need to come up with some more TikTok makeup hacks because there was a time where I had a TikTok makeup hack that sort of got quite a few views and I ended up in a few of these videos myself. But if you're not following my TikTok, it's just at Sofla's Life. I do sort of like mini makeup reviews over there and like hair tutorials and stuff. And if you're not following my Instagram, that is just at Sof. My Twitter is at Sofla's Life. And without further ado, let's just get into the video. So I have already done my foundation. It's a little bit light for me. This is the EX1 foundation. I used to love this. This, and then I just didn't use it for years and then recently they sent me one and I thought you know what I'm gonna try it again. I actually really like the look of it. This is the shade 2.0 I've actually got two different concealer hacks. The first one I saw on a user called Blum Blue Marine Bay I will put her video on the screen and it's using a white Concealer under your eyes just straight up white concealer and then she does the rest of her makeup and it looks it does look very smooth It does look very flawless. She's absolutely stunning I'm not gonna lie though. It does look a little bit like she's got flashback under her eyes But I've actually seen quite a few people test this and it looks amazing I saw Tammy from makeup by Tammy who actually is in another one of these makeup hacks. She tried it and it looked incredible on her. So I think as long as you sort of go over it with the right products or like a tinted colored powder or something, it can work. So I'm gonna try this on one side of my face and then I'm gonna try a different concealer hack on the other so we can test the two of them. You know what? I'm just very quickly gonna put some cream bronzer on my face because I'm pretty sure in the other hack that I saw, she's already got her bronzer done. So I will be right back. Cream bronzer is done. Let's apply the white concealer. And I'm gonna use the Revolution Conceal and Correct Concealer in the shade white. She sort of does like a mini little triangle like this and then like drags it up like that and then we'll blend it out You know what though when I used to not fake tan I probably could just get away with using white concealer all over my face because I was so pale But let me just blend that out fully Well, it definitely looks very sort of Lifted it doesn't actually have as good coverage as I thought it would like, I feel like you can still see my under eye bags. Maybe I was supposed to do normal concealer and then put the white concealer over the top? She puts it on under her makeup, it looks like, and then she does her foundation. But she must have some other product under there. Because I don't feel like that by itself is giving me enough coverage. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try the other TikTok hack on this side. And then I'll probably do it on this side as well. And just see if it gives me extra coverage. But it's definitely lifted my skin. And you know what? Once it's actually blended out, I think as long as you use the same beauty blender that you did to blend in your foundation, it sort of melts it into the foundation. So it doesn't just look like super stark white. I don't know. I'm not to fully judge this one yet. Let's try the other one first. I did see this one because a couple of you guys tagged me in it. This is by a user called Sarah underscore Wolak. It just seems like the most excessive amount of concealer, but she looks stunning. I will say she has got a very sort of sculpted face already, but it does look like she's got some cream bronzer on there, which is why I've just put mine on. But it's just so much concealer and it's in this really weird sort of like Picasso design. But I have to say it really does look like it sort of works. So she's using the Maybelline, I always call this the wrong name. I always call it the eraser under eye, but it's called, what is it actually called? Oh, the American one is called the eraser eye. But then this one, they sort of like rebranded it to be in multi-use concealer, not just for under your eyes. Oops. Well, that's way too much product. Okay, let me just get off some of that excess product. <laughs> Jesus. So she starts here and then she goes up under her eye down the side of her nose and then like down here around her mouth come on down to the corner of her mouth and then up like under her contour it is just it's just so much product and then she blends it out so i guess i've got to try and blend it out without sort of interrupting my cream contour she blends it out like that oh my god the thing is this concealer is so full coverage you don't even need that much of it so i just feel like this is so much and the thing is, with most TikTok hacks, most of the time they are just things that people have sort of posted to get views on TikTok, which, you know, 
fair play, do what you've got to do. And a lot of the time they don't actually really make your makeup easier. Sometimes they do though, but this one I feel like is just an excessive amount of concealer when all you really needed is just a tiny bit under here and a little bit under your eyes and then a tiny bit on the nose. Like all together, that is way too much concealer. And so much so because it's such a full coverage concealer that it's sort of just taken away my cream contour anyway because I couldn't blend it out properly without hitting the cream contour parts. It kind of works, but now I've just got this awkward line where my cream contour was and I'm probably gonna have to re do it. It clearly works for her and if something is working for you then don't let anyone get you to change what you're doing because if it works for you then fine but for me personally I'm just gonna put some on my spot here. I just think this one is a bit of a gimmick. You know what guys for this side I'm literally just gonna blend it all over because I need to conceal this spot anyway. Now I just kind of feel like I'm really caked in makeup. I'm just gonna add a little bit more cream, cream bronzer just to get me back to where I was before. There we go. So now that I feel like I've got about 7,000 layers of concealer on my face, we're gonna add a bit more. And we're gonna add some white concealer over the top and see if it helps to brighten the situation anymore. So, may as well just go all out. You know what? I actually don't mind it. I never sort of thought to put actual white concealer, like a pale concealer, yes, but white itself. I was just like, no, that would just look ridiculous, but. God, well it's definitely brightened my under eyes. And because I've just like done that sort of line, it's lifted my face. I mean, you could get the same effect with a light concealer. This would be a good hack if you don't own a light concealer and you don't wanna buy a new one, mix a bit of white in with your regular under eye concealer. I think that worked better than I thought it would. I thought it was gonna look awful, but it's not too bad. Is it bad? Tell me in the comments. Is it bad? This next makeup hack I saw on Tammy's page, Makeup by Tammy. I'm not sure who it originally sort of started this whole idea, whether it was Tammy or whether it was someone else, I couldn't quite work it out from TikTok. And that is to use a colour corrector as a cream blush, which is, oh my god, that's the most beautiful sunset. <gasps> that is genius. Because the best thing about that is in not only will it add colour, it will also add like extra coverage. In my previous makeup declutter from like last year, I definitely got rid of I think all of my color correctors because I just don't use them. I found this NARS Radiant Creamy Color Corrector in the shade Medium and it's in this orangey peach color. So I'm gonna try and put this on my cheek. It's got like bristles. That is not what I was expecting. How strange, it's got like a paintbrush. I have a feeling this color might be a bit too orangey to act as a cream blush. Some of them are a bit more peachy, some of them are a bit more coral, but this is the best that I can do. So let's just try a little bit first. Let's try that much. And then go in with my brush. Oh my God. And you know what? The other day I went into Superdrug because I was buying some stuff for like a new video. I was searching for a color corrector in Superdrug. Every brand that sold a peachy toned color corrector was sold out. And I don't know if that was just a coincidence or whether people have seen this on TikTok and have started buying up all the color correctors because I couldn't find one in Superdrug, which is why I had to resort to this NARS one. But okay, the color's not quite perfect for what I would go for with blush, but it works. Of course it works. Why did we not think of this sooner? I bet some people have been doing this for ages and they've just been holding on to it and they didn't tell anyone. Somebody please tell me, is there like a peachy toned color corrector that I can get hold of that's more of like like a pinky peach rather than straight up orange. Cause I know that some color correctors are like that, but oh my God, I've got to say, this is actually really pretty. What a genius hack. Let's put a bit on my nose because I haven't, haven't contoured my nose yet. And there's a reason I haven't contoured my nose or will be revealed. Okay, so maybe this particular shade does look a little bit on the, like verging on the side of Oompa Loompa. But if you can find a decent colored color corrector or if you have one just kicking about that you haven't used in ages, um try it. I'm using the Ciate Coconut Powder just because I had this in my drawer and I haven't used it in a while and I tried it the other day and I was like wow it makes my under eyes really smooth. Oh apart from when I get it in my eye. I do sort of feel like adding the powder has kind of completely taken away the colour of the blush so I'm just going to add a little bit more. Kiko Sweet Affairs Duo Cocoa Blush in Ruby Cocoa. I've actually got an ad coming up for Kiko's um, Valentine's collection like a little Instagram reels but this blush you know what it reminds me of actually? This reminds me so much of Milani Luminoso, just a little bit more pink rather than peach, but it's got like a glow to it. 
Let me just whack something in my eyebrows. Also, I'm sticking with five hacks in this video because normally I end up blabbering on for ages and ages and ages. So I'm hoping by keeping this to five, I can hopefully have a video that's less than 20 minutes long. Please let me know down below. Do you prefer longer videos or do you prefer shorter videos? Because I'm well aware that most of mine end up being about 25 minutes long. Please be honest with me. Is that too long? Do you prefer shorter videos or do you prefer them to be a bit longer. I should have done my eyebrows before my foundation because now I look like I've got eyebrow dandruff. Oh well, we're all friends here. So this next hack that I'm gonna try is one that I've seen going around since before Christmas. I've seen it for a few months now actually and I still haven't tried it because I've been saving it for a video and that is a nose contour hack. It was originally done by a user called Vicky Beauty, I think. Okay, yeah, so she's called Vicky Beauty with two Ks. She, I think, was the original one to post this, but I couldn't actually find her original video of this, but I will play a little clip of her video. What she does is takes a skinny makeup brush, holds it in the center of her nose, and then gets a big sort of like fluffy bronzer brush and dusts over it, and then when she takes the, the brush away, she's got a perfectly straight nose contour. When I saw that, it just blew my mind a bit and I was like, I need to try it. So most of the time I use this shade from Charlotte Tilbury for my nose contour. So I'm going to do the same, but I'm not, obviously not going to use the brush that I normally use. And now I just need to find a good size brush for my nose. Okay, that one's a bit big. Oh, is this one a contender? I can't find the perfect brush because so many of mine are tapered. Let's try it with this one. So let me just take some bronzer powder on this fluffy brush. And then, oh crap, wait, how am I gonna do this without a mirror? I need to line it up properly. Oh my God, I think it's crooked. I'm really stressed that I've not got it straight. This doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. I don't think I'm doing this right. I think my brush is too thick. Oh. It worked. However, at the base of my nose, I feel like it's going outwards more than I would usually have it. I'd normally try to like snatch it in a bit more. Let's um, let's take an even skinnier brush. Oh my god, now I really gotta hold it straight. And let's try that again. Oh, I just moved it. I just moved it. I just moved it. You know what? If I, I think if I stood in front of a mirror and did this instead of like trying to look in my viewfinder and do it. So now I definitely have way too much bronzer on my nose, but that works. It really works. My nose is looking like a completely different shape and it looks like it's fanning out a bit more at the bottom, but I'm going to fix that. Let's just sort of like connect it to my brows. So obviously right now I look like I've got way too much bronzer on my nose, right? But I'm hoping that with a little bit of powder, I'm going to use this Revolution iHeart, the iHeart Revolution peach powder. If we sort of bake it a little bit, hopefully that will sort of help to straighten it up a bit. Let's just leave that there for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna prep my eyes for the next makeup hack. And what I'm gonna do is just do a quick sort of like wing liner. I'm gonna do a little makeup hack of my own. So I've just done my black liner. I'm actually gonna take the shade Dreamy from my eyeshadow palette with Revolution. I'm just gonna go over the black liner with this shade because i find it works so cool if you use like a duochrome color over a black liner i just tried this the other day when i was sort of playing around with makeup let me just zoom you in and because it's quite a sort of like light duochrome color it doesn't matter too much if you sort of go outside the lines because it just sort of sticks to the black and i think that looks really cool if i do say so myself can probably wipe away the bake now. Let me just add a bit of blush. I think that nose hack works pretty well, actually. As long as you've got like a freestanding mirror in front of you. And oh my God, I haven't even put highlighter on yet. The final makeup hack is the whole reason why there's a candle burning behind me. And I saw this on a user called May Tami, or maybe it's May to me. And it says, hack alert, stop using tweezers to apply gems for your euphoria looks. Use a candle and a pencil instead. So you can obviously buy like wax pencils, which are specifically de designed for like picking up gems and little sort of like gem applicators and stuff. And you could just use a lip liner. I've seen people do that. However, if you use a lip liner or like an eyeliner pencil, it gets a little bit of the color on the actual gem. So if you don't want to go out and buy a wax pencil for putting on gems, take a regular pencil and dip it in some candle wax, wait for it to dry, and you've got a little gem picker-upper thing. What could possibly go wrong? This candle's been burning the whole video. It's just one from Revolution, which is called Call Me Angel. 
I'm just gonna dip my pencil in there, do quite a few layers, and it dries pretty much instantly. So you want it to get quite a big blob on the end of your pencil, of the wax. There we go. I have a sort of wax dipped pencil nib. Ta-da! Please don't judge my pencil. It says I heart geography. It's the only one I could find. I've had this since I did geography A level. So I'm gonna use some of these gems from the ColourPop and Nightmare Before Christmas collection because, because I am. So I'm just using a little bit of lash glue. And where should I even put my gems? I'm thinking now I'll do them like just sort of scattered. Kind of euphoria style. Not that I've actually got up to that stage of euphoria yet. Cause right, I started watching it, never seen it before, but obviously seen people hype about it and especially the makeup. Somehow I accidentally watched episode two as the first episode that I watched. And so now I'm having to go backwards, but Jesus Christ, it's a very heavy show. A couple of people did warn me in my DMs, but oh Jesus, I felt a bit sick watching the second episode. Oh my God, it's not actually picking it up. It's not picking it up. Oh no. It's because my gems have got like sticky stuff on the back of them. Okay, there we go. Okay, well it definitely works, but it's a little bit tricky when you've got gems that have got sticky stuff on the bottom of them already. So I've just sort of rolled it around on my hands first. There we go. I've got one on. You know what though, even with that, this is so much easier than with tweezers. Oh, it dropped. It dropped, guys, it dropped. Maybe it's to do with the type of wax that your candle's got in it. Because this wax doesn't seem particularly sticky. But I mean, it's definitely working, but it still is a bit fiddly, I won't lie. I'm not really feeling this placement, but <laughs> you know, it's doing the job. It's not fail safe, but it is easier than tweezers. There we go. I successfully stuck some gems on my face. It kind of works, but it's still quite fiddly and it might depend on the type of wax that you're using. Maybe I wasn't supposed to let the wax fully dry before I started doing this. I'm not really sure. If anyone has any tips, please let me know. But I mean, it definitely was easier than tweezers. And finally, let's just finish off with some mascara. So this is what the finished look looks like. I mean, I say finished look. It's not really a look. It's just some eyeliner and me sticking gems on my eyes, but I kind of like it. So overall, out of all of those, let me know which hack was your favorite. I think my favorite one is probably the nose contour one. I'm gonna keep trying that with like different size brushes when I'm doing my daily makeup because it did actually work. I think it just needs a little bit more practice. Oh, and the color corrector as cream blush one. If you can find a good colored color corrector that works for your skin tone and is like a nice, pretty shade then that one is genius i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any more tiktok makeup hacks that you've seen either tag me in them on tiktok or let me know down below if there's anything just crazy in general that you've seen that you want me to test because i'm sure we all know there will definitely be some more of these videos if you did enjoy this please give it a thumbs up it really really helps me out and if you watch my videos quite a lot and you're not subscribed maybe press the subscribe button turn my notifications on then you won't miss one of my videos and that would also be a massive help to me so thank you in advance i'm gonna go now i hope you guys are doing good and i will see you in my next video bye